Hopefully, most of you living in India have seen this picture. You might think that they couldn't afford a motor vehicle or they just did it to save money. But the real story is a lot more interesting. So back in the 1970s, India only had telephone and telex services for communication. If anyone wanted to make a long distance call, they needed to make a booking for it and wait their turn even during emergencies. It naturally left our nation frustrated and the challenge to solve the problem got ISRO scientists revved up for it since it would also help the nation develop. So, ISRO scientists ended up developing a communication satellite that they called Apple, which stood for Ariane Passenger Payload Experiment. It took around six years of hard work and they eventually completed it in 1981. But back in 1981, ISRO's computers weren't powerful enough to run the several technical tests and perform the necessary calculations to launch the satellite. So they reached out to engineers from IISC, IIT Madras and TIFR to make the calculations manually. You can imagine how hectic it must have been back then, given how difficult communication was and that that was the very problem they were trying to solve. ISRO planned to launch their Apple satellite from Kourou, French Guiana. But first, they needed to test the satellite and its parts. One of the most important parts of the satellite is its antenna, which is crucial to sending and receiving signals. To test the antenna, they needed to place it in a special chamber that cut out magnetic disturbance. The special chamber is called an anechoic chamber. The chamber blocks electromagnetic disturbance, which comes from electronic devices. Also, to prevent the satellite signal from being reflected inside the chamber, the inner wall of this chamber has cone-like structures that bounce and absorb the signals from the antenna eventually weakening them like how a bouncing ball loses energy with every bounce. Using this chamber, they could check the signal of the antenna without errors caused by interference. Unfortunately, at the time, ISRO didn't have an anechoic chamber to test their Apple satellite. To be able to use one, they needed to send their satellite to another country that did have one. But the deadline was drawing near and ISRO didn't have the budget for that. So, the ingenious scientists found a smart workaround. They decided to conduct their tests in a huge open space, like a desert, where magnetic interference would be minimal. But now, they needed to transport the satellite there. And using a car or carrier vehicle wouldn't work out because even their electrical systems could disturb the magnetic field and affect testing. So, the scientists hired a bullock cart to haul the satellite all the way out to nowhere, where they could test their satellite without any interference from electronics. And so, they managed to save both time and money. After smooth testing, ISRO's Apple satellite was successfully launched from French Guiana on June 19, 1981. The satellite made an enormous difference helping in computer networking, telemedicine, teleconferencing, teleeducation, and most importantly, emergency communication. One of the most inspiring stories of its success came after a town in Gujarat was hit by a cyclone back in the 1980s. The entire road and communication network in Amreli collapsed. During this difficult event, ISRO's Apple satellite provided a vital wireless link between the Gandhinagar Secretariat and the Amreli Collector's Office for 10 days, during which they received approximately 50,000 messages. The messages were about everything from the happy news of the birth of a child to the postponement of wedding dates and so on. ISRO's Apple even played the role of an internet service provider in the 1980s by helping several educational institutions stream lectures. ISRO's smart ideas and well-thought-out successive missions helped lift their space exploration capabilities up to the world stage. Chandrayaan-1, which was launched in 2008, was a milestone in space exploration, being the first spacecraft to detect water on the surface of the moon. ISRO is also one of the few space organizations to have sent a successful mission to Mars on their first attempt. In the future, 
ISRO also plans to send humans to space with their Gaganyaan mission that's scheduled for 2023. It may look like it's taken them too long since the first human ventured into space over 60 years ago, but we don't believe delays are necessarily a bad thing. All great things take time. If you like this video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more awesome videos like this.